Hey Gnozy families, welcome back to my channel. All right guys, there you have my vanilla, my lemon peels, my two yolk of eggs. Then what again do we have there? 30 grams of flour. Then what again do we have here? 60 grams of sugar and 300 ml of milk. All these measurements and ingredients will be on the description box. And for more questioning, you just drop it on your comment and I'll be glad to answer you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to walk you along on how you can make and heal these snacks with the help of a plastery, pasta, and the family and the whole family will be glad you did all right guys the video is self-explanatory what i did was to add my lemon peels you can grate it or make it take some a kind of lemon yeast but i don't need it i just only need the aroma from the lemon so all you do is to heat it on the fire you are not going to cook it just make it a little bit warm then that is fine because we are going to cook continue the cooking process what I'm going to do right now is harden my sugar to my two egg yolk. Give it a great mix, a very good mix. You don't have to stress yourself over mixing because it's going to mix so perfectly well. Before I continue, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, my audience and my viewers and those who shared my videos out. I really appreciate it. After I've mixed my sugar, I went ahead to add my, my flour. You can use any flour of your choice, but I best advice to use all-purpose flour because it goes so well with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to filter my, my milk. I didn't boil my milk. I just make it a kind of warm. The essence of me filtering because I don't want much of the lemon piece in. So, I just added some milk at a time and give it a good mix until everything is well mixed. And as you can see. And please, I just want to beg whoever is washing up to this extent. If you have an active platform or you wish to or you love my content you want to support my content please share me out on your community tab i'll be very very glad you did so guys i just continue turn on turn on my flame on my stove continue the milk cooking process that is what i said earlier you don't have to boil your milk you just want it to be warm and nothing more so these are my lemons but i will take them off during the cooking process this process is optional you can either remove it or you leave it or you better still you can just grate your lemon peels use the lemon juice and that is fine by you you can see my custard is ready this is my fillings for my plastery pasta which i'm going to make after this moment why i'm doing this because this video is a kind of long i actually wanted to show how i make my custard or how i make fillings for my plastery or for any snacks but it was it was a bit short so I also okay. Let me show you the whole process how you can do it. You can use this custard. You can use it to fill in any snacks you wish. It is super yummy and delicious. So right now this is my custard. It is ready. I just put it in a bowl. All I'm going to do, I'm going to use a nylon a cellophane to cover it and make sure the you're doing it this way make sure it sticks it sticks to the custard so it will have it will not be you will not get the hop um some parts strong 
when you do it this way you are going to have a very creamy soft custard without no hard surface the essence of this is just to prevent the surface from getting strong remember we have flour on it so this will prevent the surface once it it is cold from getting strong all right guys this is my my custard you can see the surface is soft nothing much how this is my plastery the pasta i'm going to use you can get this from any store of your choice i can't remember the um, the brand i use but believe me any brand will work out fine depends on how you want to make it and you know this thing easily get melt easily so when you are pre preparing it you have to be super fast in this process because especially if you are doing it in the hot season the summer or you have a very hot weather it met easily so what i'm going to do i just section my plastery put a good quantity of my custard fillings you have to be generous with it because it is my homemade so put a very good quantity of it then roll it around press it you can make it any form any shape you wish and that is it like i said before the video is self explanatory please let me know what you think of this video give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please share me out on your community tab if you love this video my name is susan and this is glossy tips on this channel if you check my about or do everything skincare face care everything about natural beauty started from your head to your skin and once in a while i throw in some baking tips because we don't have to look beautiful with an empty stomach when your stomach is well filled your stomach is beautiful believe me your skin will glow your hair will grow heavily so guys like i said before once in a while i throw in some baking tips okay i just don't mind me i was a bit silly so guys i'm almost done with the filling you can see it is soft easy to to work with so that is why you have to use the nylon on top so it will be very easy to work with i did different shape different form you can do any shape you want any form you want however you wish however you want it you can do it what i'm going to do right now i i have my oven on preheated at 220 normally i preheat my oven at 220 i take it to the hottest once it is hot my oven light has turned oven well hot then i reduce my baking to 180 degree and the baking time the baking time is 15 to 20 minutes but depends on your oven you know some ovens are hotter than you have to control it so it will get it will not get burned or undone plus three plus three pasta is very soft pasta and it is easy to cook so 15 to 20 minutes is okay like i said before you depends on your oven you have to do a kind of high control to see if everything is going well the next stage we are going to do a kind of hair wash if you don't want you can skip this it is optional but because i want hair hair wash also give your your snacks a beautiful brown color so this will make it look more attractive so you can either choose to do it or skip this process your snacks which looks great and eatable so guys this is my final looks look at how it looks this is super yummy for the kids i believe trust me kids love this they will eat one and say mommy can i take more or mommy should i eat the, the one that is left on the table my all fam my family loves this so i just wish someone out there 
find this video interesting loving and worth trying so guys this is all for this video and if you find this video interesting or you feel the need to support my channel kindly hit the subscription bell bye guys